Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plug-In Deals. And growing up, our house was full of music. My father, brothers, and sisters, they loved to play the guitar. But being the only keyboard player in the family, I felt kind of left out. But not anymore. Uh, acoustic Samples has uh, developed some beautiful libraries that allow keyboard players to create uh, realistic and beautiful guitar parts. And so today we're going to take a look at a special bundle from Acoustic Samples. And uh, until I can learn to play the real thing, I'm glad that I have these sample libraries from Acoustic Samples. So let's take a look. All right, here we go. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, uh, go ahead and click on subscribe and that notification bell uh, just to make sure you don't miss any of the new content that's coming. So today we're gonna look at four libraries from Acoustic Samples, two acoustic guitar libraries and two electric guitars. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that these libraries run in the UVI playback engine, which is a free download. You're also gonna need to have an iLock account so you can authorize the libraries uh, to your computer. The first uh, guitar library we're going to look at is the Acoustic Samples GD6, and it's based on a Guild acoustic guitar. And you can see all of the controls here. You have different modes, play modes, solo chords, patterns, and even a MIDI guitar uh, mode. In case you actually have a MIDI guitar, you can just pair it right up with these uh, beautiful guitar libraries. But let's uh, go ahead and start with the solo mode with the GD6. And let's just take a listen at this beautiful instrument. So one of the biggest challenges for keyboard players is when they approach guitar parts is how to voice them and play them like a guitar player would play them because, you know, obviously uh, 88 keys is different than six strings, totally different uh, approach. But what Acoustic Samples has done in these libraries is that they've built in an intelligent uh, uh, player, so to speak. So when I'm playing chords on the keyboard, it's going to voice them as a, uh, a guitar player would voice them. And you can see on the on-screen fretboard, you can see the different chords move and the different frets and different string positions move to reflect that. Okay, so let's take a look at one of the other guitars in this bundle, and it is going to be the Telematic. And this is version 3 based on the Fender Telecaster. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start in solo mode and then we'll move on to chord mode. So you can kind of hear the pure sound of it before we get into anything else. Yeah, it's just got that, um, that unmistakable sound. So let's go to chord mode. And chord mode has two different uh, settings. Uh, guitar and piano. So I'm going to pull up the on-screen keyboard so you can kind of see you know what's going on. So in guitar mode when you're holding chords down with the left hand you strum them with the right hand and again this is using that intelligent uh, player technology. That's the down stroke and up stroke. And you see the blue keys, so the red keys are the up and down stroke and the, the black keys above are the mutes that go up and down. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then you see the blue notes. Now I'm gonna hold down the same chord and now we're gonna play those blue notes. And those address each individual string. So you kind of finger pick that. So that just gives you another uh, 
expressive opportunity. Uh, and you can see all of the different controls here that let you just fine tune the strum and the, uh, the effect of that just to get it exactly the way you want it. You can transpose using the capo and that type of thing and auto voicing is on like we mentioned before. So now when you go to piano mode in the chord mode, uh, so when you play key, when you play chords in the left hand, it's gonna automatically trigger it. And one of the things that I like is just like, That's pretty cool. Very nice. So that's the telematic. And let's go on to um, the other uh, electric guitar, and that's the strategy uh, based on a Fender Stratocaster. And the same thing uh, pretty much applies with, uh, with this electric guitar library and you, you see the similarities there's a little difference in some of the uh, the layout here so you still have the different modes solo chords so the solo mode oh, yeah. that's pretty cool and you you look here at preferences, you have um, release volume, dynamics, and once again, you have all of these different um, different play modes, and just they've given you so many different ways of tweaking the uh, guitars in the libraries just to get it to sound the way that you like it. Uh, you have control over the pickups. Uh, you have uh, pickups on the bridge, the middle, and the neck. So you have you can address all three of those pickups. You can load and offload the different sample layers uh, for those. And we'll close that. So let's go to another mode, the pattern mode. And uh, you can... So it's got like these pre-programmed patterns. And the tempo is going to be set to, by your host. I'm running it in my host here at 150, so let me just change this tempo a little bit uh, to 100. Yeah. So when you're playing the chord, the pattern is, is uh, executing that. So you can assign a different pattern and they've got a ton of uh, just pre-recorded patterns uh, in here that you can use. And you can have the editor, you can actually create your own patterns. Like it's almost just like a, like a step sequencer type of thing. And then we can close that. So it just gives you so many possibilities and you have an effects, uh, which gives you a virtual pedal board, uh, which allows you to uh, come up with all kinds of... And so that's triggering those patterns. Yeah. It's mapped to this... Uh... Yeah, the phaser is kind of wild. All right, so let's take a look at the last guitar, the Sunbird. Now, it says the Sunbird, this library is based off of a 1962 Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar, playing for song, like songwriters and that kind of thing. You know, whatever, whatever you have, I think you, you could find a place for it. Let's go back uh, to the solo mode just so we can take a listen to the, just the... Uh, Listen to that, how nice and clean that is. Yeah. And now 
let's go ahead and put the slide on there. There we go. And the chord uh, pattern is uh, the same. Uh, let's look at the microphone setup. Now here, you have three different uh, selections. You have the piezo pickup, you have the overhead stereo, and then you have a nice uh, close mic uh, that uh, can give you some really beautiful sounds. Uh, and again, you have uh, control over all the release, you have EQ, the dynamics, and you have a reverb uh, section here. Yeah. Just to give it a little room, little body in there. Very cool. Okay. Um, I like the piano mode because it lets you Well, I love to play guitar. <laughs> I just like that. I mean, it, and you can just have so much fun uh, playing these. And like, uh, once again, yeah, it just, it just, Kind of pulls you right in so um yeah so that's the sunbird uh wow thanks so much for watching and again if it's your first time here uh you know go ahead and subscribe and click on those notifications but i hope you enjoy just taking a quick look at these beautiful guitar libraries uh they've captured just such um uh not only the beauty of the tone of each uh of you know, guitar, uh, the character of it. And then they've, then they've given you the ability to, um, you know, just make it your own and play it and be able to feel like you're actually creating a, a really realistic performance. So uh, thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Simeon, and I hope to see you soon.